Oh, she's in the same outfit as if she filmed this in the same day, like a criminal. Ooh. I've come to eat some chicken nuggets and talk about how I just heard Wonder by Shawn Mendes for the first time, and it is not good. It's not. It's not good. Well, what else I first like is it's definitely produced really interestingly. Almost gonna be like Neo Theater, H.A.R. vibes. I don't hate Shawn Mendes. I think he has some good stuff. But sometimes I hear some of his songs and I'm like, wait, haven't I heard that song before like 72 times? And this was definitely one of those. Me and Kelsey listened to it in the car and we were like, yeah, it's not good. Mm -mm. So this whole song, Wonders. It's about all the things that Shawn Mendes wonders about, but all these things that occasionally breach some kind of existential questions, but never quite make it over that bridge. All of these questions are summed up by, I wonder what it's like to be loved by you. This feels like it's been done a lot of times. It doesn't hit super hard for me, but it kind of feels like the whole song he's just like trying to be deep. People always accuse Halsey of fake deep. I feel like this is definitely fake deep, for sure. I wonder if I'm being real. Do I speak my truth or do I filter how I feel? I wonder, wouldn't it be nice to live inside a world that isn't black and white? I wonder what it's like to be my friends, hope they don't think I forget about them. I wonder. I wonder. Don't you. Don't you, Sean, don't you. Right before I close my eyes, the only thing that's on my mind, been dreaming that you feel it too. Oh no. Oh no, Sean. I wonder what it's like to be loved by you. I will say, I think this song would be sick live. And maybe that's why they wrote it, because it's a really like feely song. But basically, the whole time you think he's gonna say something interesting, original, and introspective about himself. But it's really just um, wondering if someone feels it too. I guess that's relatable. I wonder why I'm so afraid of saying something wrong. I never said I was a saint. I wonder when I cry into my hands, I'm conditioned to feel like it makes me less of a man. This is the thing that pisses me off about the song, is that in order to make something a pop song, pop writers feel like they have to make it at the end of the day about a relationship with another person. And so all of these sentiments have been said so many times before and are not helpful to the public in any way. They don't push our brains in any way. And I know, I know, not everything has to push our brains. Gonna get so many hate comments on this video. Not everything has to be intellectually challenging. And also my idea of intellectually challenging is like base level, like very base level. It's like, have you heard this exact phrase 16 times on the radio today? If not, that's in some way intellectually challenging. <laughs> Interesting wordplay, meter that takes you off guard, a rhyme that is really interesting and weird. Like those are all like intellectually challenging in some way. Strings of cliches that never end in explanation or further understanding of those cliches is literally just us stuffing our mouths into the end of a pop music mill. Taking things in, churning them directly back out. So like, I wonder why I cry into my hands, I'm conditioned to feel like it makes me less of a man. That should be a whole song. That is a very relatable and interesting and thought-provoking concept that's relevant today that people would listen to Shawn Mendes if he sang a whole song about. And like, think about like, In My Blood. In My Blood is not like my favorite song of all time. But it's just about like depression and it's about fighting and it's a great song like and it's it has the same effect as wonder in terms of like yeah. but it's not just a total string of relationship cliches i wonder if someday you'll be by my side and tell me the world will end up all right come on sweetie 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 they've been smoking on the job oh no okay brit is there any bridge right before i close my eyes that's the only thing I would just love for people to write songs about more complex things. Okay, but think about like Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Sign of the Times is a, has a similar vibe to this. You know, it has like the, the big like hearty arena filled thing. But Sign of the Times is like a very interesting song that you could unpack in several different ways. There are no strings of cliches in it. It's a complex, elusive narrative about something that you can just vibe out to if you're not listening to words, or you can listen to the words and spend a really long time decoding them and understanding them. This is the pop music 
we need. Shawn Mendes' Wonder is literally just a mill of relationship cliches. It's not hard. You can literally do this, look. Tonight, everything is gonna be alright. I was looking at you from across the room, and I thought it must have been love at first sight. So I get it out of this small town. Baby, you've been on my mind all the time. You're all I'm thinking about. Would you run away with me tonight? But that is the same song as Wonder by Shawn Mendes. That was completely ad-libbed and it was clearly not good. And I think there's like two lines maybe in Wonder that sound like they weren't completely ad-libbed. Anyway, I hope you guys don't hate me now. If you write songs but you don't play instruments, email me. I'm producing people's demos and please become a Patreon. I teach you how to write songs and how to uh, produce on Logic and GarageBand. It is literally $5, which is less than a latte. Please follow me on Instagram. Please, please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> please give me all the hate comments you want. Have a good one.